Hello, this is Mr. B's finger picking tutorial series. I am going to be exploring six different styles of finger picking, which are going to build up your finger picking skills in a variety of different ways. So I hope these videos are really helpful and uh, useful for you. Uh, if you do enjoy them, please do like and subscribe to help my channel to grow. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Hello, this is my finger picking lesson 15 and the third of my mini series on the pinch and roll pattern as part of my finger picking tutorial series. Okay, uh, we're going to spend another lesson today looking at this pinch and roll technique where we do a pinch on the outer string or the outer strings I should say, the uh, G and the A string with our thumb and our middle finger there and then we roll through the E and the C using our index and thumb. So pinch, E, C, E, A and G, E, C, E, like that. And I'm doing that on a D minor, which is our first chord for the day. Now, this is a bit harder because I've got G minor, uh, D minor to start on. Um, if you're coming to this for the first time, I suggest you look at the last two uh, tutorial lessons uh, they're a little bit easier because they're mainly using C and F chords and the, the, the more straightforward chords this one's going to use a D minor just to make it more interesting for our practice patterns um, but if you're new to this like I say uh, go through this set, set of four videos uh, in order and start on lesson 13 so uh, for those of you who have been looking at the last two and are uh, enjoying this one and ready for another pattern let's have a look at today's uh, chord pattern and how that works so we're starting on a D minor with G7 that's an interesting one because the D minor to a G7 we sort of keep that first finger in the same place D minor and then we pivot our second and third finger down from the D minor to the G7 so there's my D minor first and second finger like that and then I just pivot and that, that finger stays in the same place D minor to G7 and I bring my third finger up and drop that second finger down. D minor, G7. Just a nice, simple transition once you think think it through. Let's do that one more time. D minor. So G7. Then we've got the C on the next one. And then the A minor. Back to the D minor, to the G7, and the C, and the A minor. Okay, and always, as always, make sure you're getting a nice, clear pinch on the opening uh, finger pick there, the, the opening pinch. So at the start, make sure your thumb and middle finger getting a nice clean pinch there. And then in between, you're not catching those strings again. So you get a nice clear resonance on the G and the A pinch. Okay, I'm going to play it through now at an increased tempo. So you can play along with that or work towards that with your own practicing. Don't forget, you can download the JPEG image that I've been using on the screen through my Dropbox link. So you can practice with that in your own time as well. Do take care of this everyone and enjoy it. Thank you.